in the UK, the audition process is basically you're given the time, so quarter past 12 is your audition. So you go there 20 minutes before. Sometimes you have a piano, sometimes you don't. Many orchestras will do a first round just to cut the numbers down. And in England, it's, it's an open audition. I mean, it's not behind a, a screen or something like you would have in, in America. You obviously play a classical concerto and then a romantic concerto and a few excerpts, which are terribly important. And then if they like you, uh, they don't give you the job. <laughs> they invite you uh, to play with the orchestra for a few projects. That's what we call the trial period. Unlike perhaps in, in continental Europe or America where it's, it's basically a competition, the best person on the day wins the job, you know, everyone else go home. Maybe you would only take one person or you may take five, any number of people who you feel have made the grade. So then the really long process starts because these people all need to work with the orchestra. They need to be given a fair amount of time. They need to be given a fair amount of different repertoire to sit with different people. And people would make um, their decision based on how they felt you prepared and how you played in the concert. But of course, a, a trial period with an orchestra is, is about so much more. Because of course, people subconsciously, and whether they like it or not, are judging you on the way you behave and the way you are, how you interact with the people around you. Um, I certainly have seen people come in on trial who felt incredibly uncomfortable about it. And the worst thing of all, you don't get any feedback. <laughs> it has an explanation as well. Every member has different opinions. So if you get feedback, then next time or next week or next program, you play with someone else in the section and those parameters might not apply. So it's really up to you to know how to play yourself and your cards. And that trial period can last from three weeks to three years, any time, any. You don't play uh, all the time with the orchestra. They invite you for a few weeks here and then for a month or two, you don't hear anything about them. It's a very long process. You have to be very patient. And sometimes they don't give the job to anybody. The big question with the audition process for people who are in the orchestras is, is this an effective process? Sometimes you get the person who auditions best, but doesn't play the best in the orchestra. So this is why the British system, a lot of them really believe in it. It can lead to old boy associations. Oh, I know this guy, let's bring him in. And that's what in North America and in Scandinavia they're trying to avoid. Uh, so it's apples and oranges. I mean, the processes are, are quite different and uh, it's very difficult to say which is better. It can be a long and complicated process and it does mean sometimes that it wasn't perhaps the best player that got the job, but the best person all round who, who could fit right within that little sort of jigsaw that is a section. So it's, it's, a, it's an interesting process. Not everybody agrees with it, but it, it seems to work quite well for us. <laughs>